At least four poll workers in Cuyahoga County tested positive for coronavirus. Two of them, a husband and wife from North Olmsted, who wanted to share their story. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins now on what they learned and what they hope others can learn from them. Liz and Casey Manning worked the polls on election day. They thought they took all the precautions. Everyone else was wearing masks. They probably, some of them might not have been the best masks, but, um, but everyone was close to each other. The poll workers were all close to each other. They admit they might have let their guard down because four days later. And I started feeling feverish, uh, a headache, achy. I just felt like I was burning up. Um, those couple of days and then um, the cough was really the first thing and then um, it turned to congestion so tired so 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 tired shortness of breath has come into play as well Liz says things taste weird and both noticed their sense of smell diminished kind of uncomfortably nauseous and still the fatigue continues and it's been a headache throughout the whole thing too while they're recovering they hope their covid confession is a clear warning to others especially with vulnerable loved ones they're not going to bounce back as quickly and you don't want to you don't want to find out the hard way you don't know who you're going to infect i mean we're fine but his mother's in the hospital you know and so that to me is that's that's your typical scenario. Their quarantine ends Friday. They really don't know if they got it on election day or maybe one of them brought it home from work, but they want you to know this. Be careful, don't let your guard down. You've gotta act for the greater good of the people around you. I think you need to go about life and act as if everyone you're coming in contact with has the virus already. You know, that's really good advice. The couple isn't sure how Casey's mom was infected either. Casey says he always wore a mask when he was around her. He's not sure his sister did, though. And meanwhile, his symptoms are pretty much gone, but Liz's are still nagging her. Casey was able to get a COVID test through his doctor, but Liz had to wait in line at an urgent care to get an antigen rapid test, which, by the way, came back negative, and then her symptoms started the very next night. So what we do know now, Russ, is that Casey's mom has been now moved out of the hospital into a rehab center, but she's not out of the woods. And that's why these yeah. people wanted to tell their story because, you know, with Thanksgiving next week, this is what people are risking. Well, wishing them the best and thank them for telling their story. And thank you, Monica. See you later.